2015 Millennium Development Goals provide a good foundation for evaluating the effectiveness of any development program. While great strides have been made toward many of these goals, progress is stalled on many of them as well. Price Fortification is a cost-efficient program that can spur development in many of the areas addressed by the MDGs. Fortifying a staple crop, such as rice, with just a few micronutrients can simultaneously address six of the eight development goals. Iron improves brain function, leading to better performance and attendance in school, and higher productivity and wages in the long run. Vitamin A and zinc increase and strengthen immunity to battle deadly disease, decrease child mortality, and increase maternal health. There are four methods of technologies that pertain to rice fortification. They are hot extrusion, cold extrusion, coating, and dusting. Both hot and cold extrusion involve passing dough made of rice flour, a fortificant mix, and water through either a high or a low temperature process. These extrusion techniques are used in less developed countries such as China and the Philippines. Coating, seen in many countries both less and more developed, uses a process that involves combining the fortificant mix with waxes and gums and spraying this mixture over the rice kernels. Dusting, observed only in the U.S., is a process where the polished grains are dusted by a micronutrient premix, which uses electrostatic forces to stick to the grains. Effectiveness. Micronutrient fortification is one of the most cost-effective health interventions. Compulsory versus voluntary fortification. Examples in Latin America have proven that voluntary fortification or inadequate enforcement of legislation is associated with poor implementation and reduced benefits of fortification. In most countries, consumer demand is too low for voluntary fortification to be effective. In conclusion, compulsory is more effective than voluntary fortification. Examples. Studies have shown that children in India have seen increase in iron stores, and in Mexico there has been a decrease in anemia for women by 80%. Rice fortification could in fact have an impact on the prevalence of stunting in many, many places in the world. You know, despite an in incredible improvement of the economy in India or Indonesia or Southeast Asia in general, or rice-eating countries, the impact on stunting has been quite limited. So rice fortification can have such an impact on the prevalence of stunting that it has long-term uh, implications for equity in the world. In these initial stages, the capital cost to fortify one ton of rice ranges from six US dollars to 20 US dollars. But this cost is expected to decrease as technology continues to advance and as the process becomes more common. Fortified rice also promotes the vital aspect of preventative healthcare intervention. In conjunction with the potential to tremendously cut down on health care costs, rice fortification will foster an increase in several countries' productivity levels by preventing nutritional anemia. For example, South Africa found that it saved 30 rand for every 1 rand spent on fortification when it calculated the cost of treating a child with spina bifida during the first three years of life. There are four primary ways to ingest micronutrients that come with living a healthy life. These are eating a healthy diet, ingesting bioengineered food, taking supplements, and eating food that has been fortified after growth. Maintaining a balanced diet is not an option for many in developing countries due to the lack of money required to purchase the foods. Therefore, a heavy emphasis is put on inexpensive grains such as rice and wheat. Vitamin supplements are an option, however. Oftentimes they are expensive and are not a viable substitute to lacking nutrients. Biofortification is also another way to supplement micronutrients. However, the methods are still very experimental and are not yet a viable option on mass scale. This leaves food fortification as the best option, showing the process of fortification only costing 1 to 3% above the market prices in development.